coming after me. Hey, everybody, what's up? Oh, God, oh, God. Ah! Oh, my God. Die, die, die. No! I can't see anything. I'm on fire! Anyways, guys, what's up, everybody? I hope you guys are all doing good. I'm iJevin. Welcome to iJevin Plays. Dude! What is going on? I'm just going to stand right here and swing. What's going on? Face down. Face down. We got this, guys. Go team. Go team. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, what's up? I hope you guys are all doing good today. I'm iJevin. Welcome to iJevin Plays Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a good day today. I know I'm doing good. Sorry about that intro. We got a little scared. I was in. I, I typically do have five to start the videos. And there was a baddie. And he was a meanie. Anyways, um... I'm looking for a crafting table. Crafting table. Crafting table. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, um, one thing I want to do is I want to start... Dude, where are these guys coming from? We gotta torch this place up, man. Yeah, let me... There we go. Anybody else down there? Okay, I want to start off today's video by making sort of a to-do list for the future episodes. Um, because... We had to tear our other one down, and there we go, um, and there's a lot I still want to get done, and you know, just, you know, in general have fun with the world, but we gotta have, we gotta have a little bit of, uh, direction here. So the first thing is an automated sugarcane farm. Uh, sugarcane. And same thing with slime. And I want to finish existing rooms so because we have a lot of bases or a lot of rooms in the base that do not have anywhere to go um, nether portals uh, we need we need nether portals so we don't have any nether portals I hear him where's he at they've got to be spawning down here somewhere dude I don't know where they're coming from. Yeah, the mobs just keep walking in my base. Like, what up, though? Uh, so, nether portals. Um, where are you? I don't know where he's at. Anyways, so, next up, I, I definitely want to get into, like, mass potion storage. Because, like, that seems fun. Um, finish off village. Because we've been working on the village since, like, day one, man. I swear to God, I just saw him. I don't know where he's at. Anyways, I want to kill him. Anyways, so another portal potions. Uh, finish off village. I want to make some sort of nether hub as well. Um, <clears throat> Where's that bastard at? Oh, he must be outside or something. So I want to make some sort of nether hub. Um, I'm not sure how much we're going to actually use the nether, but hey, you know, it might be kind of beneficial to keep that there. Um, I also want to convert our uh, smelter there to a lava powered lava power because we can do something with a nether to throw buckets into the portal and it'll just automatically do it if it's possible. I'm not sure if the portals will sink because they're so close together or not. Um... I want to make uh, make more branch offs. I want to make more branch offs in the base. Uh, this is what this tunnel right here is going to be for, because we're sort of running out of room to build places. So uh, I'm thinking this one might need to be a little bit longer. So uh, definitely want to do that. Um, I want to get uh, Ender storage and probably make like a uh, like a death kit or something just in case I die. Um, there was other things possible. I want to make. I want to get into wither farming. Um, possible wither farm. So I've got to look into designs for that. We also started off over at the um, uh, guardian farm. Um, guardian. I spelled guardians wrong. I spelled that so wrong. We'll say like this. Guardian farm. Ha! I'm smart. I abbreviated. 
There we go. Um, so there's plenty to do. I still got more in my head, but we ran out of room. So lots to do on the board. Um, lots of still. We still got to clean up the base more. Uh, and we just got to get light in here, dude. Uh, I'm also thinking about changing the floor plan or the floor a little bit. Uh, it's just too white for me. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe like doing a custom pattern or something. Sort of like how we have on Hermitcraft. Uh, maybe something like that, I think. So, uh, anyways, let's go to move on. Completely off topic, I can parkour our base. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. There we go. I'm just sitting here playing with my horse. Having fun. Minding my own business. Parkouring like a boss. Okay, so I have yet to get over there. Oh my god, that's so close. I think if I just stay still. I got him in the water, probably. Anyways. Yeah, so our horse jumps so high that I can parkour. This is pretty awesome. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, I am the parkour champion of the village. All right, guys. So all that tomfoolery with our horse got me thinking. We should build a horse training course. Or like a like an outdoor horse facility. I think that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> now, like, I've never really seen one in real life. I'm just going off of what I've seen um, and, like, so there's monsters nearby. I'm going by what I've seen, like, on, like, like when the horses, uh, like, like, do competitions. And they have all those, like, jumpies and stuff. We're going to do that. And I think it's going to be awesome. And I think it's funny how, like, when you're just playing around in your world, you know? Like, I'm jumping from building to building. And it's like, boom, there's another idea. So I'm going to grab these. And, okay, so let's go make a couple buckets because we're going to have a couple water jumps as well. So I've got a bunch of different stuff here with me. We're going to make a couple different obstacles. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So you... There we go. Awesome. All right. So I was thinking like we would just leave this open. The horses could come out this way. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to sort of um, sort of block this off. I think what we're going to do is we're going to terraform this land right here. We're just going to remove this. So what we're going to do is we get rid of all this. I'll have to fill that in, of course. I just needed a little bit of room here because I want that, that water to actually be a jump. There we go. Alright, so let's uh let's fill this in. So I'm thinking we'll have um you know a couple different jumps. And um we'll have more I think we're gonna make bigger horse stables out here as well. Something like that. There we go. Alright, so this will be like our first uh, first area. I have to get rid of some of this as well. God, I love this shovel so much. There we go. So the horses will come out of the uh, stable and head this way. And so I think I'm going to have this to be too wide. Let's fill this in. There we go. And I, I think uh, this one is, like I said, going to be too wide. But I think there's not going to be anything else here. Um, the other ones are going to have, like, uh, other pieces of obstacle course here, I think. I'll fill all that in. You... We'll have, to, we'll have to make like a like a training course or something. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, a little bit more. And then once we go ahead and just make this uh, even. Okay, bucket. Of, oh no, I don't want that back. All right, so this will be our first jump. Let me grab some buckets of water. And I think we're going to make it just a little bit smaller lengthwise. Like that right there. Now, I do want to signify that this is some sort of obstacle. So what I think I'm going to do is put pillars here. 
Something like that, maybe. Like I said, I've never done anything like with a horse. I've never, I don't even think I've, I've only touched a horse like maybe once in real life. So that'll be our first obstacle. The horse will come over this way and we should have a jump obstacle sort of right here, kind of connecting all this land together. Um, well, I don't know if that would work or not. I'd have to pull all this out to make that work. Uh, okay, so I think our next obstacle, let me fill all this in and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got that filled in. So I think our next obstacle, you know, we, we want to be able to regain ourselves, at least be able to jump. So I think right here is going to be good. How far apart is this? That is um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to make this right here. It's going to be three high. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is going to be a low jump. Like so. And um, then we're actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fence this in sort of once we have this all done. That way we kind of know where, know where the, <clears throat> excuse me, know where the boundaries are. So uh, the horses will come this way, we'll go up the hill. And do I want to do anything up here? Um, you know what? I think I've got to do more terraforming. All right, so the next obstacle is going to be right here, and it's going to be sort of a diagonal water run. So it's going to be three wide, like so. There'll be water in this area, and so we'll go over three. Actually, we'll probably go over two. Uh, yeah, that'll work right here how long is this one one two three four five one two three four five and i think we'll do one more four five okay there there and so this will all be filled in with water and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to terraform a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this out to where it's, I just want it to be a little bit closer. I wasn't sure how much like land I was actually going to use. So I'll fill all that in later. All right. So let's go ahead and get this all filled in. Okay. Sometimes I wish I had more ice. I should probably head over to the ice farm soon and do a collecting, like collection. But I think I need to get another silk touch pickaxe before I do that, because ours is uh, not doing so hot. All right, so that's finished. Now we're going to put this down right here. Here. I think I'm gonna. I don't know if I want to extend that or not. I want it to be over the water. You know what? I think I'm going to get rid of this one. And then we'll bring that down. So we're just going to run over top of this. There we go. I'm excited to try our course out. Probably should get rid of that one too. There we go. So the horses will run over top of that. Then come back down, and I think we should do a uh, sort of like a little bit of a harder landscape right here. I think I'm going to fill this in though. Man, lots of terraforming going on right now. So we're going to come down the hill, and we're going to make a, like a, a bunch of small jumps. Three, four, five, six, and then let's see. So over land, I'm going to give it four blocks and hope that's enough. Like right there. Okay. Then I want to do a, a diagonal jump right here. So we'll line it up to this guy. Right there. So like right there. How many leaves do I got? 24? I think we're going to do a leaf jump this time. But I think it's going to be too high. Because we really haven't done a difficult jump. Because our horses can jump like three high. So there we go. And so run and jump over that. 
Um, yeah. Okay. Then I think I want to do another water jump. Then I might do it. We should probably get one over here somewhere, too. Actually, let's see. Jumps, turns, and so we might want to put the water jump somewhere in here. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna fall in. I'll be right. I got. I'm gonna have to terraform some more. I'll be right back. All right. So this is gonna be more of a diff. Probably the hardest jump here. What I'm thinking about doing is having a one high block and then over water. So it would definitely need to be a running jump. Um, we'll probably start here. Let me do this real fast. Get rid of all of this. Okay, that should be good. Let me do it one more time. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, so we got plenty of room, so we'll go probably right here. So what we'll do is we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll put fences down, and then over on the back side here we'll uh, put water down. Okay. Say so yeah, that should uh yeah. There we go. So something like that I think. And I'll uh make you go right there, grab some more. And I think no what a jerk. God, I hate creepers. I had one blow up in my base earlier, man. Not cool, homie. Fill all this in. All right, let's give it, uh, let's do one more. We'll give this a, a, a three blocks base. So one, two, three, here. Here. I'm so excited to try this course out. And uh, we'll do two. I, I didn't even realize there was like such an extensive cave system down there. I might actually make this jump too high. There we go. Okay, and like I said, I think I'm gonna make this one too high. All right, so we need to go get a horse. Okay, there we go. So our training course is done. <clears throat> I want this one. Oh, this is awesome. Up the hill. Oh, lag. Oh, it's hard to do that jump right there. Oh, okay. Let me read. Let me retry that. That's a hard. That's a hard section. I think it's too close together. Too soon. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get that jump down. Okay. No! I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Uh, I would say if anything needs adjusted, it's just the spacing. These ones are easy. Plus, I think my horse can just run over the water. But that double jump at the end there is probably the hardest. Yeah, if we're going to do it smoothly, we're going to need to make a bigger space. <laughs> that's so much fun, though. That's awesome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed the horse training course. And it rhymes, too. So awesome. I had a lot of fun building that. If you guys have any suggestions, as always, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it would be pretty cool to add on to this thing eventually. Maybe add a couple more uh, obstacles in. Maybe spread out a little bit more. But that's going to do it for today. Hope you guys all have a good one. This is I, Jevin. Peace out.